Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this series we're making Snake in Unity. In this video we're going to add Snake Death and wrap around the level. Let's begin. Okay, so here's our game so far. We have the snake move around, we can eat food, which will grow the snake by one segment, and all the sprites are correctly displayed. You can see the corners when the snake moves, they look correctly. Right now, I can go through the snake like that. There you go, that should cause a game over, but right now, nothing happens. So, let's deal with that. So here is the snake class. Let's go down to the function where we handle our grid movement. So in here, we are doing a timer and then moving our snake based on the grid move direction. So in here, we move the grid position. So it's in here that we need to check if this new position is empty or it's a body position. So after we do the movement and move the entire body, Let's go through every single snake body part. And in here, all we need to do is check if the snake body part get grid position. We're going to make that function soon. So it will return a vector to int for the snake body part grid position. So we get the grid position from that specific snake body part. And then all we need to do is do a check for the grid position, which is the position of the head. If it's the same as the snake body part grid position, then we have a game over. So let's make this function on the snake body part. We want a get grid position. So down here, make it public. It will return a vector to int. Now in here, we want to return the current grid position. So the grid position is based on the snake move position. So we return that dot get grid position. Again, the snake move position was created in the previous video and it simply handles one move position for the snake. So just like this, we should have the basics for testing for snake death. So let's go up here and this is what's happening. We go through the entire body part list. We get the grid position that that body part is in. We check if it's the same as the head grid position. And if so, we got a pop-up saying game over. So let's see. Okay, so here's the snake with enough of a body size to test for our game over. So let's go there. Now I wrap around and yep, there you go. There's the pop-up. When we went through our body, we see the pop-up where we should have a game over. Okay, so everything is working correctly. Now, obviously, we don't want the snake to keep moving after achieving a game over. So let's sort that out. So in our snake class, we can simply go all the way up here and we're going to create a state and the update will only run this code whilst the state is alive. So let's do that. Make a private enum for the state of our snake. And the possible states are alive or dead. And let's store a private state for our state. And by default, let's make our state equal state dot alive. And in our update, simply do a switch on the state in case we are on state.alive, then we run this code, same as previously. In case we are on state.dead, we do nothing. All right. So now all we need to do is modify our state to become dead. So let's go down here onto our pop-up saying that we are dead. And let's simply set the state equals state.dead. Okay, so let's see if our snake stops moving when it dies. Okay, here's our snake. Now let's wrap around and hit the body. And yep, there you go. It's dead and the snake stopped. All right, great. So we now have a correct game over state. So now that we have death working, let's deal with another part of the design, which is the level wraparound. Right now, the level has no boundaries. So here on start, if I go to the right, you can see that the snake just keeps going forever. Obviously, we want the snake to stay inside the level. So when it gets to the right side, it should appear on the left side. So let's do that. Here on the snake list, let's see where we are moving our snake. Here it is, the grid position. And after we move it, let's ask the level grid to validate our new grid position. So let's make a function on the level grid. In that function, we're going to return a vector to int for the validated grid position. And let's call it validate grid position. So we receive a grid position and we make sure it is valid. So if the grid position dot X is under zero, then we've gone off the map to the left side. In that case, let's set the grid position.x to be width minus one. So the width contains the entire size of the grid. So in our case, we are setting it with 2020. So that means that our grid goes from zero to 19. So in here, we are setting to the complete right side, which is 20 minus one, 19. And let's do the same thing for the height. 
and after we validate let's return our grid position okay this should be correct so now let's go into the snake so we can call this function here in our snake we move our grid position then we ask the level grid to validate our grid position and we replace the grid position with the validated grid position so let's test our code and see if everything is working okay there's a snake going to the left let's see what happens it goes there and yep it now showed up on the right side so now let's test the border down and it's moving down and yep it showed up up there all right great so now let's apply the same logic to the right and upper sides so all we do is if the grid position dot x if it is bigger than the width minus one then we have gone off the map from the right side so we simply set the grid position dot x to be zero same thing on the height Okay, so let's test and see if the right border and the upper border are also wrapping around correctly. There's the snake moving to the right, and yep, there you go, it gets there, teleports to the left side, from the left, teleport to the right, from down, you teleport up, and from up, you teleport down. So there you go, we got our level wraparound working correctly. And also, let's make sure everything still works with a large body. Okay, there's our very large body, now let's try going into a corner, and yep, there you go, it showed up in there. Now I try going down there, and there it is, and there it is. So we have our snake grid position correctly wrapping around the level, and it works perfectly fine for all the other body parts. And we can still eat an apple, and there you go, show up on that side, eat another one, and everything works perfectly fine. And finally, let's also make sure our game over is still working. So let's wrap around to that side, and now back to that one, and crash, and yep, there you go, our snake has died. So there you have it, we added a game over state when we hit the snake body and also the ability to wrap around the level. In the next video, we're going to set up the UI to show our current score. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from anticodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.